Britney Spears took to X to criticize Halsey for her new music video, Lucky, which was released on Friday. She then deleted the message and claimed her phone had been hacked. The 42-year-old hitmaker of Baby One More Time, who gave Halsey permission to sample her 2000 song of the same name, first expressed her upset over the music video, which featured the 29-year-old singer emulating Britney Spears from the early 2000s. After deleting her Instagram account the previous day on Thursday, Spears took to X, formerly known as Twitter, to express her opinions. Britney said, I'm very upset about the Halsey video for obvious reasons. I feel violated, harassed, and abused. I had no idea that an artist of her caliber, someone I respected and looked up to, would depict me in such a naive manner, portraying me as a shallow pop sensation devoid of any compassion or empathy. The Princess of Pop went on to say, I removed my Instagram account yesterday because I have health issues of my own. I'll most certainly be putting it back up to demonstrate my concern. Near the end of her article, Spears stated, I'm speaking with my lawyers today to see what can be done on this matter. It seems illegal and incredibly harsh. The celebrity later claimed on X that she wasn't the one who uploaded the message, and the post was quickly removed. False information. I didn't use my phone like that. I deleted it because I love Halsey, she wrote, adding a red rose emoji to her message. In addition, Halsey revealed on X her prompt response to the singer's second post, plus, I adore Britney. You were the first person who ever helped me understand what it meant to feel inspired, and I will always appreciate that. And every day you encourage me even more. In the Lucky Music video, which was officially released on Friday, Halsey channeled Britney Spears. Britney's 2000 song of the same name served as the inspiration for the song. The mother of one discloses her battle with lupus SLE and her experience with a rare T-cell lymphoproliferative disorder in the song's lyrics, where she also discusses her recent health issues, she sung, I thought I changed so much nobody would notice s asterisk asterisk asterisk, and no one did. I shaved my head four times because I wanted to slash and then I did it one more time because I got sick. The biggest lie of my career was telling everyone I was fine for a whole damn year, the song goes, then I left the doctor's office crying. Became a single mom at my premiere. Britney sang, she's so lucky, she's a star, but she cries, cries, cries in her lonely heart, thinking, if there's nothing missing in my life, then why do these tears come at night, during the chorus of her version. Halsey changed the lyrics, though, so she could sing in the first person. I cry uncontrollably in my lonely heart, thinking, if there's nothing missing from my life, then why do these tears come at night? Despite my extreme luck and star status. Following the tease of the music video, Halsey disclosed that she has received Britney's permission to use a sample of the 2000 song. A fan asked the Without Me singer on social media earlier this week if Spears was involved with the new song. The celebrity then typed out, yes, of course, in response to the fan. Without her approval, I wouldn't even consider trying. Gia Coppola, the famed director Francis Ford Coppola's granddaughter, directed her latest Lucky Music video. The scary movie franchise actor Simon Rex made an appearance in the video as well. After fans discovered that Halsey was sampling Britney Spears' song, they unearthed an earlier interview in which Halsey was accused of making fun of Spears. In 2017, she gave an explanation on how, after learning she had more influence over her work than other pop stars, she had recently started to view herself as a CEO. It was naivete at first, she remarked. I assumed that all artists handled everything on their own. I always assumed that celebrities created their own live stage shows and that Britney Spears authored all of her own songs. Following the interview's release, Halsey was prompted to respond on social media by critics who claimed that she had made fun of Britney. She posted on Twitter, saying, Most things are easy to ignore, but that one hurts because I just love her and have always spoken highly of her and her genius is undeniable. She insisted, I wish people weren't spreading stuff because I love Britney so much. All I said was that a song requires a lot of people to finish. The second song off Halsey's upcoming fifth studio album, Lucky, was released over two months after the album's initial single, The End. The End was a somber acoustic song about a person pursuing a romantic relationship despite facing a terminal illness. The name or release date of Halsey's upcoming album remains unknown, 
despite her declaration that she prefers to use the pronouns she and they. Halsey told her followers about her health struggle last month in June. In 2022, I was first diagnosed with lupus SLE and then a rare T-cell lymphoproliferative illness. Both of which are now being controlled or in remission, both of which I will likely have for the length of my life, she said in a post uploaded to Instagram at the time. After two years, I'm feeling better and I'm more grateful than ever to have music to turn to, the mother of one stated. After a difficult start, I progressively got things under control with the help of excellent doctors, she said positively. I am so excited to be back among you all, where I truly belong. My heart is screaming and singing. She revealed more about her health struggle in another post that included a number of videos that seemed to show the singer getting infusions as well as her sobbing fits. Halsey revealed on Instagram in 2022 that she was diagnosed with postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome, POTS, mast cell activation syndrome, MCOS, Ehlers-Danlos disease, and Stjoger syndrome. The singer, who also has endometriosis, updated her fans in March of this year after reverse engineering a surgery. She posted a picture to social media at the time, stating that she was back in diapers as she healed. The vocalist of Bad at Love has previously disclosed that she was diagnosed with bipolar disorder and ADHD.